All right, so when I make my molds, what is the tape I use? How do I get my resin not to stick to the frame? How do I get the resin to not leak outside? It's really, really easy. I use a shipping tape. Now for the bottom, I recently started using a polyethylene sheet and that is a complete game changer. And when I say game changer, I mean it is a game changer. I don't have to now use MDF and stuff for the bottoms of my boards. It's huge. But when it comes to making my frames, how do I line them? Because I didn't cut my polyethylene. I'm not ready to do that. <laughs> and I think it's too thick to waste that. So I'm gonna use those as my tabletops and I'll probably buy some sheets that are about half inch so that way I can cut strips out of them and then make my frames from there. So that way I don't have to do one by twos and all of that stuff anymore either. Okay, so what do I use? I know you see everybody with this red tape or with the white tape, and this is a sheathing tape. This is tuck tape. Also Tyvek tape, and that is the white one. <laughs> One is sold in Canada, one is sold in the US, but now that Amazon is out here the way that it is, it really doesn't matter. So a lot of people ask me like, what do I use and what do I suggest you guys use? I didn't start using this in the beginning. I didn't, I just didn't. And the reason why is because I couldn't justify in my mind spending what I did on one roll that I could on one of these. This is the same amount of money. You get eight, two, four, six, eight. You get eight of these to one of these. And this is even less than this still. So while I was in my learning phase and I wasn't making what I'm what I would what I'm making now off of my stuff, and I was just, you know, trial and error and I was messing shit up. I couldn't justify running through a roll like this. Now don't get me wrong, these last a long time. And there is a big difference in them. But the reality is, is that these got me through my first two and a half years. It just did. Um, it wasn't until almost my third year that I bought my first roll of tuck tape. And um, I used this for shipping and I used this for my resin molds. Um, I do find that this sticks to the edges better. Um, but, I mean, realistically, in the beginning, this right here will work just fine. I'm going to link all of the products that I use for mold making down below. And tonight, I will work on my video on how to make the frame. It's, people call it molds, but it's the frame for your table on how you're going to keep 15 or 30 gallons of resin inside of a piece, right? This works anything for, like, charcuterie boards serving trays, side tables, coffee tables, dining tables, and then conference tables, okay? Same concept, same everything. I don't take four hours to build a frame and all of my pieces come out the exact same way. I feel like as long as you get the same end result, like I pick and choose where to spend my time and that's gonna be on finishing, prep, and things like that. Um, so if I can cut an hour out of not doing pocket holes to make a pretty mold that I'm gonna rip apart, I'm gonna do that. Um, so anyways, that's what I use for the inside of my frames. Um, I hope that helped. And I will work on a video tonight showing exactly what I do, how I do it, why I do the things I do, and hopefully that can clear up a lot of gray areas for you guys, okay? All right. I hope you got something out of this video. I get the question so many times. Um, so if you want to know, drop down in the comments. I will link everything I use down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.